even when I started, like when I was first headlining in the early 90s, because I headlined fast, there were so few women that were doing things in a different way. Like I didn't come out of the shoot doing the, you know, Paula Poundstone with the jacket, with the leather. You know, keep in mind, when I started, the big people were Elaine Boosler, Paula Poundstone, and that was a breed of comic. Mm -hmm. And I was the first of the wave of attractive. Like Sarah Silverman used to open for me. Oh, like I was the wow. first of the girls that were girly girls. And right. I took a lot of heat for it. I was in the front lines of the girly girls. And then I showed the yeah. girls. I, you know, <laughs> yeah. took a lot of heat for it. And I wow. remember one time a female booker gave me some mm -hmm. crap. And she said, Monique, no, she was cool, though. She said, your problem, your challenge is that nobody wants to hear ugly things coming out of a pretty mouth. Oh, Bad okay. girls of comedy, all of us, Lunell, me, April oh, wow. Macy, Tiffany Haddish. How was that experience? Who, who Amazing. Snoop Dogg produced that, right? Yeah, it's Scott Montoya, but yeah. And uh, and the beauty was it was exactly what you thought it was going to be. You know, Snoop showed up hours late, <laughs> hours in a puff yeah. of smoke. And yeah. everybody was in a mood and the audience was, they didn't care. Everybody was happy. And we shot till, I don't know, 12, 1 in the morning. And then we took promo pictures. Like the whole thing was just surrealistically fun. I, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I, I bet that he's like really fun to be around. Oh, my God. I, and Tiffany kept teasing him. Like, I didn't know. I didn't even know his real name was Calvin Broadus till I looked it up on Wikipedia. I thought it said Snoop Dogg on his birth certificate. I mean, I know it doesn't, but you get my point. 